13. We're good right now. Bet. Um, so we can definitely go back into the fitness side of things. Because it's funny because Morgan was the start point of my fitness journey, bro. Because I'm not going to go too deep into like the, the, the reason, reason why I started, you know, working out. But um, I started off at going to Hurt Gym, you know, with people that was already in the band just working out. Um, and that just gave me a, a, a different type of energy that I ain't never feel before. But when I first, first started working out, it was only because I wasn't too happy in my own body, bro. And a lot of people can relate to that same type of story. They don't like what they see in the mirror, but a lot of people don't know how to start that change and how to really, you know, start those, those different steps to really change their lives. And I took that, that, that step to myself. I literally took about six, seven months just to be to myself, you know, watching different YouTube videos. We talked about earlier about Gary Vee. I, I watched so many different people that just talked about being the best version of, of, of yourself, man, finding different things that make you happy, you know, finding that love within, within inside of yourself and not inside of other people. And I found that love inside of the gym. That's why I, I like, I, <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, like literally six days a week, at the work, at the school, I go over to Planet Fitness and just work out. And that was my stress reliever right there. You know, just going in there, working out, getting out all the anger, all the stress that I had throughout the day, throughout all the, you know, things that was going on and just becoming better and just seeing how my body, you know, started to translate to that. Like, it was like your football field for like from high school, you know? Yeah. We always have them stores, you know, yeah. Louis or XYZ. You know, yeah. From like a regular neighborhood. Mm-hmm. That's where people are like they're at their, like you mentioned earlier, just like that childhood type of intuition, that, that feeling. That's where they're, they're the most raw, their the purest form, you know, wherever their, their heart is, wherever, they, wherever it is. If it's a football field, wherever it's a gym, it's so many different things, you know, photography, painting. There's just different hobbies that people can have that, you know, brings them back to that, to that joy. And mine is fitness. Mine is definitely fitness. Um, you know, I've been doing that for about, I've been working out for around three or four years, three and a half years now, and I've been training for two. Um, and I didn't, like, originally I never really wanted to be a personal trainer until I realized how much impact I started to have on other people. When they started to see me training and started working out and they started to see the transformations that I had in my own body, it was like, yo, wow, what, does, like, what happened here? How can I get to this point too? And I already had the background in physical therapy, you know, I already had the, the mindset of somebody that was going towards medical school, being a doctor. But when I realized that being a personal trainer can still give me the same benefits and still help out the same amount of people, I realized that that way, you know, I don't need to go ahead and not yet be a physical therapist. I can do this right now. I can still help people right now. So I went ahead, got my certification. And I started working at Big Boss Gym, LA Fitness. And that's where, you know, I met a lot of my clients. And I got a lot of work done to become a better trainer. And now, you know, after I've been working for a year at LA Fitness, and I love LA Fitness, like that's always gonna be my home. I decided to become my own personal trainer, my own business man. Because you could do that's the next move right there, you know. That was the next move for a lot of people. You know, being the, the worker for someone and then making yourself like that independent contractor. Yeah, exactly. And that right there, that's a that's a mindset that a lot of people Whew, man, like that entrepreneur mindset is not for everybody, but if you have it inside of you, I, I recommend everybody to take advantage of it. Whether it is whatever, you know, field that you do, you could turn your passion into a profit, you know? Hello? So, <laughs> you can do... One thing I found very deadly is finding whatever skill you have and making money off it. Mm -hmm. My grandma, she legit supports everything I do because she's already seen how my dad has just said, you know what, I'm going to take this one thing and I'm going to live with it. Man, yeah. He moved, he sold his car and moved up here to Baltimore to go mm -hmm. to Morgan and everything. And mm -hmm. he graduated. Yeah. So he was her first child to graduate from school. Now, now he had his own business as well? Or? He, he's a teacher. So yeah. He, he's been doing that consistently and he's been productive. Yeah, bro. Like he's been state teacher, county mm -hmm. teacher and everything. Like they love this guy. He's well known. Mm -hmm. Half the reason my name is so popular on campus. Yo, facts. Like, <laughs> like your name resounded. Like, I yeah. Step into the band when we're nothing. Yeah. <laughs> You're that guy's son. And once it came to me, she just realized this smart little kid learned has the same thing. Knows how to apply it. So 
so first which is huge like, you're so young like the fact that you could like tap into that so early on yeah. like that, that's that's a blessing right there you had a good example already when your father figure you know yeah. kind of leading the way doing a trailblazer move by just saying that like f just all of this trust in the process bro yeah. trust in the process not talking about clients all this all the time when you fall in love with the process that is when you achieve the product bro it, it, it's like it feeds back to you like, mm-hmm. That's a manifestation. Like you, you see your habit becoming a stronger habit. You're just like, wow. Yeah. I want to keep doing it. It's like a little baby. Like like you put it, you keep feeding into it. It grows yeah, and it grows and it grows. Oh man. That feeling is nice. That's not even the best feeling. I'm not even gonna hold you. That's not even the best feeling. The best feeling, in my opinion, is just being able to poke your chest out, walking out here, and you knowing like all the stuff that you done put in here you just translate outside. Mm-hmm. So it translates outside. You could walk out, you know, the confidence that you done had inside the gym, it changes. Like, you f- it changes your mindset. It changes who you are. Okay, you become more confident in, in, in everything you do. You know, you walk up with your chest poked out. You know, whenever you talk to people, you know, you got a firm handshake. It's so many little things. You just are so sure in yourself, okay, because you know that you've been putting in the hard work. You know that you done did all this stuff. Your diet is on point to that point where... Your body translates to all that stuff. All that hard work and all the dedication you put in, it relates and it translates into your body. And that's what I want from all my clients. And one of my greatest clients achievements, man, one of my homeboys, man, we've been best friends for a long time, about eight years. Lost 100 pounds, you know. We grinded. We started working out together around like two and a half years ago. And he started around 306 pounds. And right now he's at, well, he's around 200 pounds now. But he's, his lowest was 197 in two years, bro, and like when I tell you, just like the dedication that you put, that he put into the gym is just monumental. Like it literally changed his life. I can't even explain. Like I will, I will bring him in here just so he can be the true testimony story. Like this dude is just a whole different animal. The best way to say that when we're talking about trust the process, mm-hmm. is, you know, don't rush the process. Yeah. Like I definitely wanted my. Big cameras right now when I first <laughs> man. But that's too much money. Sometimes man. you ain't got even meaning. Like sometimes you wanna be saying, Oh yeah, I run a four four flat my forty mm-hmm. right now. Right, right. But it's not right now. Sometimes you need some time. Whoo! Oh, I'm gonna look in the camera for this one. Cause this goes back to other people that wanna get to their body in like four to eight weeks. They wanna tone their body up for the summertime, this, that and third. You can't rush the process. Okay? It's a journey, okay? It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Take your time, okay? In four weeks, you might see some changes. You're definitely going to see some changes, but maybe not in the same results that you will want, but you can't be, you know, thrown aback by that. Trust the process. Keep grinding. Keep being dedicated, being consistent with your, with your diet, with the workout plan, and everything that you want will come to fruition, and that will be the product, you know? So people want to be losing 10, 15 pounds in two to three months, yeah, that could work. But if you haven't, if you've been gaining this weight and you gain, let's say, like 45 pounds in a year, you're not going to lose 45 pounds in like four or five months. You know, it's going to take that same amount of time to get that weight off. And then some, if you really want to do a health, you know, right. do it properly. And the thing is, just talking about health, I'm not an expert on it, but I know for sure the body is very complex. Yeah. I always think of it like, yo, our body is so elite. But at the same time, it could jack itself up so quickly. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, sometimes the way that we defend ourselves is way uglier. <laughs> like, th- think about it in the simplest way. <laughs> Simple, right? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. just saying that your skin is dirty. <laughs> yeah. So your way of telling us our skin is dirty is not like keeping it super greasy mm-hmm. and just like sweating it out or something. Oh, yeah, we're just going to... We'll put a little blemish right here. Just pop it out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! Like you eat like shit, you get constipated, bro. Like you, you, like it literally is an equation. You put in bad stuff, bad stuff happens. You feel sluggish, you feel lethargic. There's so many different things. Now, granted, I haven't gotten to it yet, but I would love to go ahead and try different diets, like a vegan diet, and see how it is just to treat my body with a different type of approach and see how how it changes. One of my homeboys, he's a vegan bodybuilder, and bro, like it's ridiculous just seeing how you don't have to eat meat to get to. it's going to take that same amount of time to get that weight off. And then some, you really want to do a health, you know, right. do a property. And the thing is, 
just talking about health, I'm not an expert on it, but I know for sure the body is very complex. Yeah. I always think of it like, yo, our body is so elite, but at the same time, it could jack itself up so quickly. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, sometimes the way that we defend ourselves is way uglier. <laughs> Like, th think about it in the simplest way. Pimples, right? Mm -hmm. That's just saying that your skin is dirty. Yeah. So your way of telling us our skin is dirty is not like keeping it super greasy mm -hmm. and just like sweating it out or something. Oh, yeah, we're just going to we'll make this gigantic <laughs> little bubble on your face. Oh, I mean, like, like, you eat like shit, you get constipated, bro. Like, you, you, like, it literally is an equation. You put in bad stuff, bad stuff happens. You feel sluggish, you feel lethargic. There's so many different things. Now, granted, I haven't gotten to it yet, but I would love to go in and try different diets, like a vegan diet, and see how it is just to treat my body with a different type of approach, see how, how it changes. One of my homeboys, he's a vegan bodybuilder, and bro, like, it's ridiculous just seeing how you don't have to eat meat to get to a different point. There's so many different ways to get there. So it doesn't have to be one straight line to get to your, your end goal, you feel me? But as long as you're consistent with your diet and you're consistent with your training program, you'll get to wherever you need to get to. For sure. So if you were to tell someone right now that maybe they don't want to have a trainer, but they just want to, you know, do like some stuff at home to be consistent, mm -hmm. staying a little fit. They don't want to be like, you know, the, the person jogging around the neighborhood all the time. Not know? yet. <laughs> their, their lifestyle is basically fitness and then their life. Yeah. Like they just want to do a couple of workouts every so often. What would you like advise them? You could definitely start out with a, with a home workout plan. You could definitely start off with some calisthenics. So you could do, and granted, it literally all depends on what your lifestyle is. A lot of people, especially with COVID going on now, a lot of people are having sedentary jobs, which means that you're just sitting down all day at your desk, typing on a computer, not getting any type of motion in whatsoever. So what I would recommend, get some push-ups in, get some squats, get some deadlift, not deadlift, excuse me, get some, like, some sit-ups, some push-ups, just different motions, high knees, different things just to get your body acclimated and just get your body going and movement. Um, and then you can also do some walking around your neighborhood, walking around your apartment complex. You don't have to go ahead and run a 5K, but just do something just to get your body moving and, you know, just start from there. And then once you're ready to go ahead and upgrade, go ahead and go to the gym for like two to three weeks, okay? Now, another thing that I also see with, with people is that it's not really about just, I don't know how to work out in the gym. It's literally about the environment of the gym itself. Sometimes people go into the gym and they get intimidated by the gym. They see a bunch of swole... Little big dudes just walk like... <laughs> you feel me? Like, and, then, and not only that, but like, sometimes you see a lot of dudes in there that aren't necessarily in the gym for the right reasons. They are in the gym just to be scoping out women. You know, just doing... It happens. It happens. You know, so there's a lot of different factors in it, but... You go in there with your own mission, okay? Put your headphones in. Got a set plan. You know I'm only, I'm getting here. I'm going to be hitting some chest. You know, got your workouts that you have in mind. Something that is a set program. Get in, get out. Nobody's worried about you. And if you go to like different gyms, this gym right here, Anarchy Gym, my home gym, is one of the best gyms in the DMV. And I will put that on anything. You can put this gym on any other level. We're up there at the top, bar none. And the best thing about this gym is it's a family-owned gym and that everybody that's also in this gym, man, it's a big family. A lot of people know each other here. You know, even if we don't know each other outside the gym, when we come in here, we're all friendly, we're all cordial. And there's somebody that doesn't know any type of exercises, we're more than, help, help, uh, more than happy to help those people, you know, and get them to where they need to be. It's a big family in here. That's why I love and I chose this gym specifically to, you know, continue to be my own private-owned business in this place because... You know, it's a, it's a huge opportunity. Uh, so, personal trainer-wise, where do you see yourself in like the next two, three years? Two to three years. That's a great question. Two to three years, I want to build the brand so much to the point where I can, you know, translate it from an in-person setting to more of an online training setting because that's what where, that's where the vibe is, you know. If I could reach people outside of just Baltimore City, outside of Zone 15, if I could just reach people in DMV, if I could reach people in the East Coast and even places outside where I wouldn't even never meet them, that's the goal for me. You know, just having that big explosion and everybody knows that, damn, the product fitness is a household name. If I know that I need to go ahead and get some type of training or some type of nutritional advice, I could go to this guy's page, I could go to this guy's website, and I know I'm going to get some quality information and get some quality workouts. That's all I want for my clients and for, for, for people. And that's in the next two to three years. I'm going to go a little bit further. Within the next five to seven years, I actually want to have my own, my own gym. Nothing too major right now, but a small, you know, small box gym 
where people could come to me and I'm in a set location and we could just have a great time, you know? Something that I could call my own. Okay. That's, a, that's, a, that's a main goal right there. So would you find yourself being more just like the regular personal trainer or you could possibly work with like athletes too? Because you could do that. sometimes athletes, it's a different... They want to chill sometimes, you know, they just want to work with the regular person. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you can do... Most trainers have specialties. You know, that you need to find a niche if you're a trainer because everybody does a little bit of everything. Right. So, you know, I don't really like to discriminate. I do do athletes from time to time, but I'm not a pure athletic trainer. Um, I would recommend somebody go to somebody else that is, you know, more on that side. What I like to go ahead and focus more on just those people that are, you know, day-to-day -day people who are regular, who want to have that body like an athlete. You don't have to be an athlete to get the body of an athlete. You, really you know, you really don't. Change your diet just a little bit. The little you things, bro. The little things. Be like, yo, you look like you play. Yo, you look like you who. You look like you ball. It don't take much. It don't take much. I'm here to get you to that body, bro. You ain't got to be an athlete to get there. I'll tell you straight up. I ain't never did no type of sports besides across. But, bro, I got the body for it. You could. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, a lot of people out here, if you're just a little bit slow and you just cut down a little bit, yeah. they see such a big difference. Yeah. You don't have to be Arnold Schwarzenegger and nah. JJ Watt to just say, wow, you look really buff. Man. It'd be nice to get to that point, but granted, hey. if you want to go ahead and go to the bodybuilding and Arnold Schwarzenegger, Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler vibes, bro, those people are on steroids. And there's nothing wrong with steroids, but most of the people are not trying to do that. People I tell you what most people want to do. Most people just want to tone up, which means just to lose belly fat and to gain muscle mass. Lily, like nah. Well, some people like that. <laughs> some people like a little bit, a little. You know, you need a little something to, to hold on to. You don't want to be like a twig. That's fine. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, you know, a lot of people say they want their guys to be over two hundred pounds. You know, this that, but still look healthy. And I could get you there. I could definitely get you, um, get my clients there. But you know, when it comes to athletic training. Yes, I know how to do those exercises. Yes, if need be, I can get you there. But you want to be more in a true athletic performance based type of environment. And that's a different vibe than just being in the traditional gym. Like we can get the stuff done, but that scene would be something way better for them because they have stuff that's way more explosive. And the, you know, the scene is way more fit for them. So um, more, my, my, my clientele right now, my scope of people is really just regular day to day people just trying to get to the best versions of themselves and it's definitely more than just the physical side like we mentioned earlier it's really more about the spiritual side the emotional side the mental side just so many different aspects that come along to it most trainers also become like your personal therapist in a way unlicensed therapist you feel me because we talk about so many just deeper problems you know i'm spending an hour a day with my clients for like four or five times a week this is a big rapport that comes along with that so you know, it's more. That you just like talk about strictly working out. Nah, like, nah, I'm like. <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, one thing leads to another. Exactly. So it's like you build true bonds with, with your clientele. I have three clients right now down on head for like almost six, seven months. One, well, two of them are a year plus. So it's definitely something that you build a true lifelong, you know, bond with. And I don't know so many different trainers that have been with their clients for 10 years plus, you know because they love that relationship that they have with their trainer. And that's what I strive for, you know? I'm not, I'm not trying to sit here and run people's pockets and just get them to where they need to be. This is a lifestyle change, bro. So, you know, we build that report and then you get the knowledge that you need so that you could take it on and do, you know, your own thing with it. That's cool too, but if you want to find a true lifelong trainer, I'm that guy for you, you know? Great conversation, go ahead. We talked about this earlier. One thing that I definitely recommend a lot of people do, and this is completely aside from doing any type of workouts and stuff, is to meditate. Please take at least like 10 minutes out of the day just to get your mind right. You know, you don't have to necessarily sit still, but go in a different environment and just find some peace inside of yourself. What I like to do, I like to go to a local park, okay? And I just go out there and inside of nature, well, outside of nature, and just be out there and be to myself, you know? It's a lot of external traumas that's going out in society right now. There's so many different things that 2020 just showed us. 
But the one thing I've learned is that I had to find that love and that passion within inside of myself. And I want other people to find that inside of themselves too. Because there's just so much stuff going on with, you know, we could go down a list. Police brutality, COVID, you know, like it's so much stuff, bro. It's just so much stuff, man. And I feel like at this point we need to really, you know, find that love within our, inside of ourselves and inside of other people too. You know, be more gentle with one another. Be gentle with yourself. You know, and the way that you can do it, like I said, meditating, journaling, you know, being active, you know, finding ways to step out in nature and get some vitamin D, you know, get some good sunlight, you know, finding a good hobby for yourself. OK, something aside from your nine to five job, something that doesn't bring you stress, whether it's painting, whether it's, you know, the list goes on. Photography, fitness, you can do so many just different things that makes you happy. And that's all I really ask for people just to find that one thing that makes them happy, that makes them you know, that brings joy to their hearts. And if you can find it through fitness, that's the best way to do it. If you want to find it through something else, man, just find what you love to do and be happy.